Good morning from Macrahanish Bay. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, so apologies to all the Scottish people here. We currently have the beach to ourselves again, as we did last night, and we saw a stunning sunset just from the tent. So that was amazing. It's about, what time is it? Eight o'clock. We've just packed up and heading back to the car. And then I think we're going to come back onto the beach just for a bit of a walk. Maybe a game of tennis? in Oban. As expected it is a bit busier than where we've come from <laughs> but it's a nice little harbour town and we're gonna go and get some lunch. I think Mark wants some seafood. This was one of the first things that we saw when we were coming into Oban. But we're not sure what it is. I'll have to Google it. <laughs> I don't know how you get there either because there must be steps further up there. For lunch in Oban, we visited Ku An Moor, which in Gaelic means big ocean. If you're lucky enough to get a window table here, there's a view overlooking the harbour and a great spot for people watching. The restaurant was busy and understandably so, as the food was tasty and reasonably priced and the atmosphere was great too. We did attempt to go to a restaurant further up the road first called Coast, but it closed in between lunch and tea time, which is something to bear in mind if you travel in that way.
but you just was lost. Yeah, what was. is it? It's McCabe's Tower. Um, is it McCabe's Tower? And something. McCabe's Tower and Battery Head. Hello. We are continuing north. Um, we had a lovely afternoon in Oban. Managed to get some really nice lunch and had a bit of a look around while we were there. We've just stopped off at this lock just to stretch our legs as we're carrying on. It's gonna take us about three hours to get to where we're going and we are pushing it for time a little bit so it'll only be a short stop but this place oh, you could spend days here max just skipping stones <laughs> every opportunity <laughs> so this was an unexpected discovery i just walked over here and found a waterfall So the place we stopped was here. You do have to pay for parking, but it is a nice place that you could spend a couple of hours. And they do lock the gates so you can't stay overnight and you can't camp here. But there are some parking places a bit further up that you could if you wanted to stay. It's only got very busy as I'm trying to cross back over the road. Angles on these rocks. <laughs> they 
take your time. We're staying in this lovely Airbnb. Mark's description of the bed was very soft, but we'll be grateful one night. And this is the view. It's amazing. The hosts are lovely as well. We've got some homemade shortbread, some oranges for the morning. And we've got tea, coffee, complimentary biscuits. You know it's going to be a good stay when you get complimentary biscuits. Give the people a wave. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Got a nice rainfall shower, which will be great after camping for two nights. <laughs> 